love so much. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of The Sims, and I'm sorry it's been a little while since we have been back to this big beautiful OG house right here to the dream house with of course Jesse, Roxy, Ryder, Luna, Ra Frankie, and Hurley and Anastasia. I nearly got them all. The cats sometimes, their names, they just float away. But we are back with all of these beautiful bambinos today. The reason I haven't been going back to the house is because, of course, it is time for Power Couple, the beautiful, the one and only Joxy, to begin their aging up process, which is really hard for me because they are my babies. Like, Jesse is my little baby Rooney, and it's time for her to join James and Jalma in old age. That's gonna be happening today. I think I'll make it a little bit of a Joxy focused episode so we can let them have their beautiful final days together. And like literally, I feel like that house has had an extension. I don't remember it being as big as that. Look how huge it looks. Like totally trying to take out our view of the forest. If you guys are looking forward to this, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. I am a little bit scared of making them old, but I have to do it. So guys, let's go ahead and play some Sims for the Rimaus. Also, I bought this top uh, from like an online website. So the story is I recorded a whole buying the first five things that Instagram recommended for me and the mobile phone like file didn't save it just died and went forever so i had all this like trash being delivered to me from instagram that i couldn't even make a video on and this top was one of them and it arrived and it has like witchy sleeves like i don't i feel like i should be like when god i'm loving yourself whenever i wear this or like i should have like a a big potion i don't know i don't know what is going on but these are my big crazy sleeves, so enjoy them. Enjoy them because you'll never see the video that they were meant to be in because the file disappeared. Thanks, technology. You strike again. So, little J uh, J J J J J Roxy, there she is, is having a little dance up here. Oh, look, it's an apple. The apples still haunt the house, you guys. The apples that were there. The, the apples that were there when Jessie was just a little girl. And a strawberry. The fact that these aren't massively like gone off and disgusting now is actually a blessing and you should eat them because if anything it will probably do you a lot of good because they clearly have magic inside of them. So we, oh hello you two, <laughs> we left these two last time where Ryder went for a date with Jake. Date, <laughs> I cannot get my water. Ryder went on a date with Jake Rooney and they were kind of at the fire pit having a little chit chat and a little flirtation. And I, th I think we kind of guessed that Ryder was into Jake for quite a long time. And it all kind of ended up beautifully for him because him and Jakey Snakey sort of had a kiss. And since then, it seems like things are going pretty well between them. But then awkwardly, he also has this flirtation with alien Luna as well. Let me try and how close can I get to you, Luna? Oh, look how big your cheeks look from here. Little Luna as well. But last time they all went to the club together, Luna ended up trying to try for a baby with that really weird alien that's been stalking us everywhere that Max also apparently is is investigating. So that was really strange. I don't know if aliens like live several lifetimes and remember all their lifetimes and they were linked in a previous lifetime. I don't know, kind of weird. But Ryder and Luna have shared a kiss recently. However, this is a long background. However, Little Faith asked them, uh, asked Ryder how he feels about both of them. And he said that he's very in love with Jake. However, he just likes Luna a lot. So, I mean, you can see that. He is pretty much very in love love with Jake and not so in love with Luna. Do you want to see something creepy? Okay, so Jake is technically his boyfriend, lovers, it's a beautiful thing. We go to Luna, romantic interest, it's too early to tell, and then super siblings. A great relationship with an ally sibling, blood or not. So we have made said that, you know, Luna and Ryder, siblings, they're not really, it's not canon, that's not the way it was. We are just sheltering her from her space war. But the game is like, yeah, they're siblings and you're sick. So thanks for that, Sims. However, the cats are 
the cats are hungry and then I come in here and they're riddled with food. So that makes no sense. Little Jesse, you are meant to be at work, friendo. So you're gonna have to go get your butt into work. Goodbye. Oh my God, I can tell that Ali's recording Fortnite. I just had to pause the game and listen because I'm like, oh my gosh, who's yelling and screeching? It's just Ali playing Fortnite. Calm down, everyone. And the good thing is that both of these guys have completed their lifetime achievement awards or lifetime aspirations. So they should be going into old age with beautiful long lives. However, Taylor, he will be aged up in the next episode. I know a few of you guys were like, but you didn't age up Taylor as quick as you did Roxy. However, I kind of like, so my thoughts of all our kids were James married first. And what I quite liked about James, why you just stood here, Roxy? Like, you know, you can do stuff. Like, you can... Have a fulfilling life if you want. Why don't you go and write a song for beautiful Jessie and yours old age journey together? Let's turn this off. Let's go ahead. Write a song. Classic piece for your and Jessie's old age. James, obviously he's the oldest he married first. I like that he married Salma Al Arabi. Obviously from her surname, she's like Middle Eastern heritage. So he kind of married somebody that was outside of his religion, I guess voice i guess either way beautiful loved it then with jesse and roxy roxy um and well jesse was kind of like leaning in between taylor and roxy but she decided on little roxy Roo. so again less traditional because she married somebody who was same gender as her our first beautiful same gender relationship gorgeous love that and then we have uh emma who I think is technically the older twin, who went down obviously a very non-traditional route because she got pregnant super early, left her boyfriend, raised little Lily Bear on her own, and then came back to her later on, uh, came back to Max later on. Now he's very happy, but had a very non-traditional start to her life. And then Emily, basically is married to the president of the United States. So all of my children have taken very different paths in life, but I like that none of them have taken a traditional path at all. They have all kind of like gone for a very non-traditional approach. And I love that so much. I actually love that so much. And now we've got such a big, beautiful family, which we wouldn't have had if all of our beautiful kids hadn't have gone their own way. So thank you, my children. So today is Friday. I think we will take all the little Kidleroos, Kidleroos, all two of them, out for, oh no, I can actually invite over um, all of the other family. What's it called? Kira. Can invite those guys around as well, go out for a nice meal together. And then tomorrow, I think Jesse and Roxy are gonna spend a beautiful romantic day together. And then we'll come home, invite all the fans around, eat some birthday cake because they're gonna be aging up, you guys. The second two sets, well, it'll be two, second and third of my similarinos becoming adults after, uh, becoming elders after Ali and Claire. Very sad. <laughs> and can we just talk about how sad these two losers are? Why are you just like, why are you just sat on the PCs all day? Not very cool, you guys. Ryder, why don't you go ahead and, ooh, do a mathematical diagram. Not your usual style, but I kind of love it. And Lunarino. Well, who's this stranger walking through our garden? <gasps> what is with all like the wannabe Maxes everywhere? Alonzo Goth. Actually, yeah, to be fair, Alonzo Goth, I think he is meant to be one of like the, like the canon Simlish series people. Observe this guy, okay? But I just feel like everyone's walking around trying to be Max, but you know, you ain't. You can try to be Max, but you ain't Max. So we're gonna get Luna to observe the skies. I feel like that's kind of her little focus in life. And then little Ryder is up here doing his little focus in life. And actually we should get him to paint Roxaru, shouldn't we? Definitely. He never finished his painting of Jesse, and when I went to go like try and finish it, it was like scrap. But I kind of like the look of it where you can tell it's got like the paintbrushes on it. So I'm kind of happy with it just the way it is, which is nice. And as we speak right now, he is painting maths. You didn't think it could be done? But he has captured the essence of maths and he is painting it. There you go. What a beautiful, gorgeous illustration of maths, Ryder. Let's pop that up on your wall. And then Luna apparently has a map of the skies, which I'm going to put up on her wall. She's looking a little bit under the weather as well. Where's your map of the sky? <gasps> gorgeous, gorgeous. Where can I put it? It's kind of big. You keep having... Oh, oh, we can add it to this one. <gasps> oh, I mean, it's identical. That's not that fun, is it? I'm going to get to polish some of these geodes she's just got in her inventory randomly. <laughs> and send some stuff to the Geo Council. She could be going ahead and just like doing a... Oh, she needs to collect three fossils. She just got one. 
doing some of her stuff for like her lifetime achievement, but also just doing some stuff to help Earthlings understand space, which I think she'd be a pretty good person for. She also now needs more space to store like all of her cool stuff. Cause look, now she's got all these like polished geode things. Look at these. They kind of creep me out cause I don't like, like you see that like the stuff in the middle, like these little like, like that like creeps me out a little bit. It activates my creepster gene. This is annoying, like why can you put one there but then the one on the other side doesn't align? Why would you do that Sims? Cause that's just super annoying. Oh man, I was like, I'll just go ahead and bring everyone out for dinner. It's like 9 p.m. at night, which is a little bit late. So we'll just have a nice family reno dinner instead. I didn't realize that those guys finished work so late. And Roxy, why don't you come upstairs so Ryderu can paint you? Oh, Ryder, you're a bit quick there. She's not actually quite in the room yet. Give it a sec, okay? Give it a sec. There we go. Beautiful Roxaru. She's even in like her gorgeous like entertainer's outfit. How beautiful! How beautiful is this painting gonna be? <gasps> and Luna's feeling flirty from looking at space. Kind of strange, but okay. Don't know what's hit tickling her flirt bone, but something is. This one kind of reminds me of Slime Rancher. I don't know why, but it just sort of does. Oh, now she's having a nice little chit chat and catch up with Ryder while he paints her. I can totally see coming together the tattoos and everything. It's gonna be gorgeous. I might stop his painting at the same point as Jesse's if I can. Just because I want them to have the same, like, obviously painted look. I think it's nicer. Because it ends up like these two, which are again really cool, but I sort of like that Ryder's style is slightly different from Claire's. <gasps> like that, like that, done. I think they are both really, really cool. They go together so well. <gasps> See, I know it's over the window. Obviously, they'll be moved. But maybe it's something Ryder can, like, unveil on their birthday and show that he's painted them both. I actually love it so much. Okay, so we've got some um, chicken something. And then a fruit cobbler. Wow. Why is the food, like, literally four pixels? Like, I could go outside, throw a rock, and hit more pixels than the food in The Sims can. And I mean, Jessie's called oh, everybody to the it. meal, but at the moment, the poor little scientist is just sat eating on her own. Guys, can we make our way over, please? Everybody's coming. Apart from Luna, because she's got to post a rock first. There we go. Beautiful little family meal. Although I do miss Kira being around. Also, these guys are adults now, and I was kind of thinking of moving little Ryder um, out with Faith and Jake into the city. But Luna's a, a tougher one. There's a part of me that wants to move her out into her own house and the marker is unplayed and we keep up with her like we always invite around and we chit chat with her but i kind of like see what the game decides for her that is a little bit of a temptation that i have you guys let me know what you think of that in the comments below as usual <laughs> and can we just take a second to appreciate how literally amazing Roxy looks when she's in like her entertainer gear. Like she is actually Lady Gaga and she looks amazing and I love her so much. She is so beautiful. Okay guys, that's not all because look, we actually made a beautiful little fruit cobbler as well. I know it's 2 a.m. and you're eating kind of late and there's a cat playing in the trash there. What's going on? However, beautiful family time. But look, can you like clean or something? Like for God's sake. Please tell me you have to go collect that. Thank you, butler. Good butler in. Solid seven out of 10 butler in there. <gasps> and wh what is going on here? Why is there a cat on the counter? Can we, uh, no. Let's her about begging for food. Let's her about playing, uh, jumping in trash. And can we lecture her about being on the table as well? Cause I'm not really a big fan of that either. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Luna's looking a little bit tigerific, you guys. Hopefully a sleep is gonna help out with that. And for these two little cutie pies, I'm gonna get some little woo-woos to be done. Beautiful little woo-woos together. Cause you know, they're gorgeous adults and they need woo-woo time together before they get old and it becomes a little bit dangerous. I'm also checking the risky woo-woo percent is three. So the fact that Taylor and Emily got pregnant is so unlucky. I am happy to report they are pleasantly satisfied. By those woo-woos right there and somebody is interacting with something that they shouldn't be because I'm getting MCC errors. Who is it? Which one of you is it? Hurley's off and out and about. I don't know who it is. So here we go guys. It's Saturday. It's a beautiful day for these two little cutie pies to spend loads of lovely time together. So why don't you kick things off with a little shower and whatnot. Jesse, why don't you go and brush your little teethies? Get yourself a little glass of water. Feel feel all hydrated and refreshed and ready for the day. 
I've never really seen these guys getting ready together in this big beautiful bathroom before so this is kind of nice a little bit of a different view of the dream house life also I love how cozy and comfy Jessie's pajamas look. Like, I'm just vibing that very hard right now. Okay, Roxy, we'll give you some privacy. Sorry about that. Ryder Roo is up as well. Ryder, I don't really know what you've got planned for your day, but you can kind of go wild and do what you want because I'm going to be pretty much tied up with these two ladies here. Luna's also out of bed. I am a bit worried that I'm leaving them two on their own, but i to have faith in them, I guess. Look at Luna's strange pet there. I don't even... Oh, his eyes are freaking me right out! Okay, Roxaru, you are gonna go and do a little bit of traveling with little Jessie Bobberino. Got a whole day ahead of you. So I think first things first, why don't we go for some beautiful breakfast together at the Chez Llama? Hopefully I won't get the issue I've been getting with restaurants recently, which is where I place my order at 7 a.m., and then at about half six in the evening, they're like, oh, here is your spring roll. I'm like, I've died six times of starvation by this point. Why is it taking you so long? So here we are at the Chez Llama. Look how beautifully dressed everybody is. In fact, I've got to say, I'm not hugely vibing this outfit right here. I'm going to go ahead and change that quickly because I just love that tied up hair so much on her that anything else just doesn't really cut it. Like it has to be that amazing tied up hair or go home like because she looks so good like that. And then I kind of hate this dress. I sort of feel like Rox is the type to, you know, she ain't afraid to show a little bit of the boobage, especially while she still can, because those things are going to be going south very soon. <laughs> so that looks so much better. Roxaru, you are looking fiery right now. Whew, I am being burned by your fiery beauty. Oh, look, so is Jessie. Jessie's like, uh-huh. Jessie, you're looking pretty uh-huh yourself, lady. Okay, let's go and get a beautiful table. Have some gorgeous breakfast together. Why don't we sit right here? Let's see who we've got. Candy, we see you everywhere. And whoever this lady is, also called Hajar. But not related to Salma. And then we've got Max, who's out with this ebony person. Max, I've got to say, you get about, friend. You literally get about everywhere. We see you in all the series. You are the most traveled sim I think we know. And they're talking about Max. It must be a work thing, you guys. It must be a work thing. I can only see one chef, which isn't exactly filling me with confidence. And then we've got this winged lady here. Okay. Okay, winged lady. I have to clear out some of my CC, don't I? That's sort of interesting. I think she thinks she is in a court of thorns and roses. So here these beautiful bambinos are. Why don't we do a little complimenting of their appearance making yourself feel really happy and let's order some brekkie for you guys hopefully they have breakfasty type things so i'd usually start with a coffee but here we should we should get them started with a little cappuccino beautiful way to start the day in style and then what's for breakfasty dish they don't really do breakfasty kind of food do they however this rustic oh no pate no not interested in that what about a beautiful like sa oh it's this brisket i'm gonna get them the bamboo roll i feel like that's a nice way to start the day and these guys are just being mega little flirty bun buns look at them both they're like like twiddling everywhere because they're so flirty that was me pretending to be flirty but actually just catching myself in the camera realizing how oily i am and trying to wipe it away also jesse bobs i'm noticing that you really need we so if we can fix that situation that would be grand because it's not very flirty to go for a wee in the middle of date. It's just frowned upon, okay? Where are the toilets here? Am I lost? Oh, here they are, okay. Girls' toilets. Off you go, friendo. Be excused for a moment. Let's see if Roxy watches her leave. Of course she does, you guys. Of course she does. Being like, there you go, my little baby. Please don't wee yourself because it's the kind of dress where everybody is going to be able to tell. Thanks. <gasps> and oh my gosh, our food has been delivered. At a normal time. Oh, I'm so oh, impressed. Yeah. Look at this. Look how good we are. A little cappuccino and like a little bamboo roll. Super healthy and lots of nice energy to start the day. Gorgeous. Oh, guys, they're such a beautiful couple. 
I don't really want to age them up at all. That's why I've been putting this off so much. Like, look at, look at Jessie. She's like a film star. Like, if she was in the real world, she would be the biggest megastar in the whole world. Like, like her eyes pierce my soul. That's how insanely beautiful she is. And then Roxy is just like the fiery as most gorgeous little rock chick I've ever known. <gasps> look at her, like, I can't, you can like, don't say those things. Too beautiful, too beautiful to age up. It's very sad. I'm actually sad they never had a daughter because imagine how beautiful she would have been. Just saying. Roxy starts working an hour. I don't think she does. Let's go ahead and call in that a little vacay day, please. There we go. Canceling the work day, you guys. And now I think I would quite like, I'm going to get her to uh, pay the bill once Jessie's finished. Eat up, Jessie, little slowpoke. Why is taking you so long? Just loves the food that much. Oh, and she's thinking about babies and stuff as well. There's just not time, my little Jessikins. There is just not time. Okay, so I think the next thing we do is um, I quite want to take them off to the place that they got married. I think that would be a really nice day out for them. So that was a park, but it wasn't that park. I'm kind of feeling like it was in the city. Wasn't it here? My Shuno! My Shuno! My Shuno Meadows. I think that's where it was. Okay, here we go. I don't know if those are quite the right clothes for the park though, so just change you into a little bit of a more suitable day outfit. Your guys are so flirty, <laughs> actually making me laugh. And I think I can hear fireworks. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. Why don't they do a little super private vow renewal? Just those guys, like remembering how amazing this place was when they got married and just doing a really super private, super low-key, just for them two, little vow renewal. Oh, guys, how precious and perfect are they? I don't want to age them up. Oh my gosh. Beautiful babies, and look at the fireworks. So gorgeous. How beautiful is the scene? Has there ever been a more beautiful scene in the whole of my series than this? It's actually breaking my heart right now. Gorgeous little angel. <gasps> this is so beautiful. They're so beautiful. <gasps> They're doing the rings again. The little cutie bears. <gasps> you guys. I love them so much. I actually love them. I am in love with them. I am the th third woman in this relationship. It's Jex, Jesse. It's J Roxy. There's Joxy. But then there's Claire. So it's Cloxy. It it kind of sounds like an illness now. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I thought that was just a beautiful little way for them to celebrate their love. Here is another one. <laughs> And I ain't gonna stop them. You cheeky little bot-bots. Wow. In this little rosebush, celebrating love in a completely different way. For the second time in 24 hours. Wow. Very cheeky. And this was a beautiful place to get married. Like, look at this. <gasps> There's like the, the other part of like the uptown city. And then I literally think, is it in those skyscrapers there? Is it in those ones there? That we have like the whole in the city gang. So amazing. And look, there's like little, st I didn't even realize there's like little stalls and stuff here. How cool is that? Okay guys, you've had the most beautiful ravishing day together because you are beautiful ravishing ladies. But let's jog home now because we need to go ahead and do your aging up party. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it at all. I need to use my sleeves to have a magic spell to be like, no age operoso. That sounds like one, right? Carrie's calling. Carrie, you're gonna be coming around to hang out with your slightly longer hair soon, my love. Don't you even worry. So here we are, back in the home. One of the cats is not happy. It's Hurley. What's wrong, friendo? Where even are you? You're here. I think he's just hungry, but he's getting some foodies now. So all is well in the house. And then I'm gonna get these ladies to get straight on with cooking cakes and whatnot. We'll just do one cake and share it, but I think we should do some food. <gasps> we could hire a caterer. Ah! Why don't we hire? Who looks like they'd be good at cooking? Alvia, I'm gonna put my trust in you, my love. 
you can be our caterer for this wondrous event. And then I'm also going to go ahead and turn on some little electronic music. Fill up that litter tray. Where's my kids? What are they up to? Still in your pyjamas? Still also in your pyjamas. There's no romance or anything going on between them, is there? No, he just wants to hug people and be happy. That's fine. I can, I can allow that. In fact, his romance with Luna is really sort of fizzling away. <gasps> and why are you returned? Why are you always here? You're not, you're not welcome here, Sedgy. You are not welcome here. In fact, no, if I kill him, it's going to make everybody sad for the party. He knows how to avoid the death. He knows how to avoid it. And then let's go ahead and start a club gathering. Is everybody that needs to be here here? Okay, the only one I'm not seeing is Carrie. Oh no, she's a teenager. I actually didn't even recognize her. We don't have Dia's child, but I don't know if anyone knows her just to bring her along. I'm sorry, that's really bad. I'm like excluding her. I can't remember Dia's last name though. I couldn't even like try and bring her around. Oh, little Jamesykins is the first one here. Oh man, what is Dia's kid called? I can't remember. I'm so sorry. Okay, so everybody's getting their little butts here, which is wonderful. I wanted them to catch up with little Kari. Give her some, uh, sorry, with Kira. Give her some nice loves. Give some family advice, but I also want to see teen Kari. Where's she at? These two getting away from everybody in here together. Typical Max and Emma. Typical Max and Emma. Watching horror movies. Okay, we've got Connor. I just saw. <gasps> there she is! Come and see your little beautiful Tina Rooney. Where are you off, Carrie? Oh, you're running real fast. I can't keep up with you with that attitude. Oh, Jake is here as well. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get some nice socializations done with little Carrie. Then let's get that cake on the table and let's get Jesse. Can you go ahead and add some birthday candles for it? Quickly before Seji probably will take a slice and ruin everything because that's just how he rolls. Oh, this is so nice. All the little fam lambs is catching up, having a chit chat. Three generations there. A Roxaru, a Kiraru, and a Kararu. All three beautiful generations. All slightly different looking, all beautiful, gorgeous goddesses. I love it. I actually love it so much. And oh look, the president is here. The president is here. He's graced us with his presence. There he is with his little whiskey on the rocks. Feel honored and blessed that this beautiful gathering has been blessed with the president, really. And Ryder's still just there. Are you actually stuck? Do I need to move you? Come over here. What? What? What are you doing? Put some clothes on, you freak. Change into a nice outfit, okay? What are you? Get a little bit dressy. It is your mother's birthday. There you go. Where is this caterer, by the way? I'm not seeing any food being catered here. We're gonna have to do that ourselves as well. Taylor clearly having a solo dance. <laughs> Taylor's always doing a little bit of a dance for himself. I don't get why if you make drinks for everybody, but it is in your own house. Like, surely you shouldn't have to pay for that. I mean, you have to pay for the wine, I guess. But if you've got your own bar, surely it's stocked. I mean, look how many spirits we have in the dream house. Why am I paying for that? Okay, Jesse is getting a lot of glasses of wine on the go. In fact, the family is pretty huge. I think you're gonna be here for quite a while there, little Jessikins. At least you've got Max coming to keep you company. At how many? Like, Max has got one. There was one at the end of the... Oh, people, those two have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And she's still going. Thirteen. Oh my gosh, fourteen. This sure is a big bottle. Fifteen. Fifteen glasses of wine poured there, you guys. And everyone's straight in to go grab a glass. We always have red wine. Have you noticed that? It's always red wine. It's because I think white wine is horrible. So I never even think to click it. And of course, Lily Bear's like, oh, what's this? There's wine? Why did no one tell me? I'll go and grab my glass, thank you very much. And sitting with uh, Faith, who they actually have this like nice little, we're very different, but we can see eye to eye sort of bond, which I like. Oh, look at Carrie in a workout gear, literally looking like she might be frozen. Oh, there we go, she's moving again. But literally looking amazing, like she's amazing. And I kind of want to be here. Okay, there's some foodie as well. So if anybody wants to grab food, you are welcome to. In fact, everybody grab food so we can put off the aging up. Please, please. Oh, and it's my favorite music. Is that in the suburbs music? It is, isn't it? The little Zed song. Oh, 
We've had so many gatherings here, here as well with like everybody together. Which I just kind of love. I think it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, everybody's needing a wee. That's what I'm noticing. Ryder, you need a wee as well. And these lights are also a little bit dark. Should we turn them up a little bit? There we go. That's a little bit brighter. I can see you all, all your beautiful faces now. All your beautiful faces. Beautiful faces. Where's Abel? Oh my gosh. Where is the apester? I can see you guys, but where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where's he? He is in the group. So I don't know why he's not here. Let's get on the phone to him just so I can look at him really. Oh, there's more wine on the go. There's plates everywhere. It's starting to look a bit of a mess and I don't know how much longer I can put this off for. I think I have to do it, you guys. I think I have to age them up. Jesse Bobs, I think you're gonna be first, my dear. Literally everybody needs we in this poor house. When are you gonna invite Abel round? I asked you ages ago. What are you doing? Invite around Abel, stop swilling your wine. Ah, why you have to be so cultured? Oh, look a little Maxi bear cleaning up, you guys. But I changed young money. I mean, the sinks, there's a sink right there. Abel is sleeping. Abel, you loser. I guess it is 2 a.m. Okay, you guys. I think it's time. I can't put it off for any longer. You have to come and blow out the candles. You've got to do it, Jesse. I know. I don't want this to happen either. In fact, I'm probably the person most against it. But it is the natural order of things. And it is your birthday. No! Even she's like, really? Really? Do I have to? I'm sorry, Jesse Ball. <gasps> okay, instantly I saw some change in the boobage there, but she's still got the skin details on, so it's sort of hard to tell. It's a little bit hard to tell, but Jessica has aged up. Party like the Reaper's not around the corner. That's not morbid at all, game. <gasps> and you can already tell... Oh, why does the body do that? Some people get to old age and their bodies doesn't do that. It doesn't just naturally just become a pair. I don't know. I don't like it. Okay, I need you to go ahead and add some birthday candles to it. Because Roxy also needs to do it now. Roxaroo, it's time for you to come over and blow out the candles. Look at the president just rocking out down there. Just rocking out down there. Also, why did nobody come and cheer for my little uh, Jesse Bobs? Can we just, can we just like... Talk about that for a moment. Nobody came to cheer. So I'm gonna do it for Roxy because she always cheers the loudest whenever it's your guys' birthday. Okay, I saw the bum go in and the boobs go down. And she's got less of an old person body, but still, oh, look at that face. That is the face of someone that did not want to be aging up at all. Look, look at that. Not happy. Not happy at all. Roxy has aged up as well. Oh, she's aged up with only one arm. Oh no, there's the other one. Okay, guys, this is the rough bit because now I have to go into cast and I have to take off the skin details. We'll have a look. Maybe one of them might get a little bit of a nip tuck a la Salma. She's had a little bit of work done to keep herself looking a bit younger. I think yeah. girlies kind of seem to need it more than boys in The Sims. So let's have a look at her without the skin details. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh. Is there like a, an in-between one that we could potentially do? That one's still kind of old. What is going on with her mouth? I don't think you can wear that lipstick anymore into old age. It just don't look right. There's one we put on Salma because it makes, it does keep her looking a little bit older. But I can't really remember which one it is because all of these are looking mighty fine on her. <gasps> okay, that could be one because that's sort of allowing a bit of the age through, isn't it? Look, you see it's giving her these and it's giving her her forehead. I think at least for now, that's probably going to be a pretty good one because it's like, uh, it's like, a gentler approach to aging. You don't naturally just do that, do you? And I also think like flicky eyes, maybe not the best way. Maybe we soften our eyes out a little bit. And I think lips wise, I don't know if you can keep the same lips. Just something that makes her look a tiny bit older. <laughs> I hate it. What about her hair? Should I give her more oldie hair? I kind of am tempted to go for white hair on her or like light pink. Like she's done those, um, you know the L people do that like, it's like a blue rinse or a pink rinse or something. Although I don't hate white on her. I think she's kind of rocking the white hair. I think I think 
that's a natural, quite good sort of progression for Roxaroo. I kind of like that. I don't hate that. She can't wear that necklace because her neck's too splodgy for it now. Okay, I've had to change it a little bit because um, I figured... Like, Ryder has to get his glasses from somebody. So why don't we do it as if it's from Roxaroo and give her glasses in her old age? And I kind of want to go for a little bit of a kooky look for her in old age as well. But I don't think she'd just suddenly start covering oh, up her she tattoos. She'd kind of like... I feel like oh. she'd still like let them show and just... I feel like she'd be quite a kooky older person like this. I think that's how I'd imagine her looking. And I think it's pretty cool. Although maybe that dress is a little bit much for an old person. <laughs> Just thinking that maybe something like that. That's pretty kooky. Okay, so we've got like her new day look, a little bit more demure. Her new formal look, pretty kooky and fun. Like, I feel like she's the kind of lady you want to talk to at a party. Then we've got her athletics, kind of stayed the same, really. Her sleepwear, she lets her long, very, very long her hair down. I guess it is pretty long. It's all tied up there. Her party, and then her pool look. So I think this, I think we found a good middle ground for like grown up Roxaroo. I particularly like this look because I like, I just feel like you can imagine her like looking like that when she got older. She's like that cool sort of like, got like just worldly, knows lots about everything, is is good for advice. Just chill, happy older lady. Okay, Roxa, Jessaroo, sorry, we're on to you now. Why have you become a sack of potatoes? That's the bit I don't get. I'm gonna make her look more normal because like, what shape is that? That's like not a normal shape at all. And then to be fair, your day look isn't like a million miles away. I don't know whether to keep her with that hair, but go for like, I kind of want to give her like old per pink, pe per pink person people hair. I don't know, like the pink rinse thing or the blue rinse thing. Like she had normally hair for like a good portion of her older life, but now that she's old, she's like, I loved having crazy colored hair. And now my hair's great. Bless so her. easy to just put a color on. I don't have to bleach it anything because it's already white so you know that's a great advantage and we actually i'm afraid little jesse bobs we need to see how you look i'm sorry we just do <gasps> it's so harsh on them isn't it it's even given her a bum chin like where did that come from oh man jesse would look great with freckles okay so which is the older person skin is it that one because it keeps a it keeps a lot of them and then i can still like put on like her um her bags under her eyes and stuff to make it look a little bit more realistic so there we go. She's definitely looking older, but it's just not quite the sack of potatoes that it wants to do in game, which I'm not a big fan of, really. Oh, man. Would she keep her piercing? I'm gonna let her keep her piercing, you guys. Give her some older person lipstick. I also don't think that eye makeup's right for an older lady. Oh, man. She does look old, doesn't she? I kind of want them to be, like, fun older folk. Like, they've lived a really cool life together, and now they're just, like, how would it have been a fun being oldies? Oh gosh, you look so old, Jessie Fobbs. What should we do with your outfit? I don't hate that jumper on an old person. I actually think it's quite cute. I like find outfits that hide how strange her body has become because look at her. It's pretty weird. It's so funny seeing like old folks with all the tattoos on, isn't it? It's cool. There's gonna be so many people from like our generation that like get old but stay like super tattooed and like chill. But just because you get old doesn't mean you have to suddenly become all like straight and proper. I think you'd get, if you were like a bit of a fun, crazy, fun loving person as um before you got old, you're gonna keep a bit of that when you get old, aren't you? So there we go. She's got her two older clothes. But like I said, I don't I don't think she needs to get super cray about things. She does, however, need a new formal wear for sure. And it ain't gonna be that. Or that. Something like that, though, is quite classy on an older person. I think that's fine. That's not gonna work for your party look anymore, though. <laughs> but now I've given her grey hair. I actually think she looks better with grey hair than she does with pink hair. Ah, uh, like, I just think that, like, it looks classy and older and fine. Like, it looks good. I think we're gonna age her more gracefully, you guys. She can still be fun loving, but I, I just think that hair's right for her. It's just giving me the right vibes. Plus I think it's Claire's hair. You know, it's got significance. It's got significance. I think maybe around the pool we cover up a tiny bit more now, you know. We're older. We're an older lady. Maybe like that kind of a vibe. Or that, that's old person gear, isn't it? Still nice. Okay, I like this Jessie more. I do like this Jessie more. This outfit needs a rethink, potentially. I mean, really? You could just put tights on with it and you're kind of halfway there. I'm not sure how much high heels are going to be good for you anymore. That looks great. 
I think that's fine. It's still keeping a little bit of Jessie Bobs about her. And I hate that heavy, crazy eye makeup on her as well. I'm gonna take that off. I need to take off all her necklaces because, like, the necks must get so much wider when you become, like, an old person. But that's still okay. She definitely looks a lot older with the gray hair, but I think it looks right. I just think it looks more how I'd imagine little, little poor Jessie Bobs to look as an old person. So let me know what you guys think. We've got Jessie Bobs in her old age with her little uh, different outfit selection. I think she's aged beautifully and gracefully and I like her. And then we've got Roxy that has just taken her craziness and her entertainer lifestyle to the full extent. And I think she also looks pretty cool as well. As they get older, I will take off the additional little skin detail that's softening them now so that they can experience full old age. So guys, please let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Hopefully you guys like them as much as I do. And we have to start getting ready because soon we're gonna have to say bye to these beautiful little bambinos. Oh. So here are our newly old ladies. Look at actually, you know what? Still just like the cute little beautiful, beautiful angels that we've been looking after for a really long time. Soon your skin details will come off and you will become fully old. I hope you're ready. But hopefully you guys like this episode of In the Dream House. In the Dream House? It's just Dream House, isn't it? With our beautiful birthday party for these two little googie eggs. Let me know what you think of their new designs. And let me know if there's anything you want me to do with them whilst they're in old age. They're not quite as fun in old age. They do a lot of moaning and a lot of this like my back's hurting thing. There's the complete opposite them of them, the hair little Carino. But hopefully you like the designs. I will take the skin details off. I just need to give them a little bit of time to ease in to old age. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.